Exciting day for music in Philadelphia. The city is opening an iconic venue. I love this. Tonight's big grand opening event at the Fillmore will feature performances from Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. Eyewitness News oh. reporter Dan Carabeo is live at the theater in Fishtown with all the exciting details. I love to see the art scene just expand here in Philly, Dan. Good morning. It is a beautiful thing. Good morning, Erica and Nicole. This new music hall here in Fishtown is truly a gem. Imagine standing here with 2,400 other people and watching Philly's own Hall & Oates take the stage here tonight. That is exactly what's going to happen. The Fillmore is a multi-million dollar project that's been in the works for well over a year now. When it started, Live Nation promised it would be one of the most beautiful music halls in the entire nation, if not the most beautiful music hall. And I got to say, I'm not disappointed. Eyewitness News got a tour of the Fillmore before tonight's grand opening. It is a beautiful mix of old and new. We're in the former Ajax Metal Company just across the street from Sugar House in Fishtown. The building is 125 years old, but you can see how modern it is on the inside. Now on the first floor is the music hall and upstairs is a club within a club called Foundry that will feature local artists and up and coming national talent. The original Fillmore started in San Francisco in 1960. And helped launch iconic rock acts, including Jimi Hendrix, The Doors, and Led Zeppelin. There are nods to those roots everywhere, but there are distinctly Philly touches all over as well. You see Live Nation's nod to Philly's love statue, and then there's the Fillmore poster wall that makes up the Betsy Ross flag. Now, poster art was a big part of the original Fillmore culture. It helped spawn the psychedelic art form. And one of the main artists is actually from the Delaware Valley. This is some of her work. Bonnie McLean was born in Northeast Philadelphia and currently lives in Bucks County. And she's going to play an interesting role in opening night tonight, along with Hall and Oates. Gets here. We are looking at the Fillmore poster wall, which is a recreation of the fabled Betsy Ross flag testament to the 13 original colonies in Pennsylvania and it's another great area the Fillmore that connects the past to the present for us um, all of these posters were prior Fillmore shows we're really excited uh, to have connected with Bonnie McLean who lives in uh, the Philadelphia area uh, she was originally married to Bill Graham the founder of the Fillmore and she has graciously decided to create a commemorative poster for us for grand opening night we are certainly in for a very exciting night here in Fishtown at the Fillmore. Now, everyone who walks through the doors tonight gets three commemorative prints, including Bonnie's commemorative Hall and Oates print. So this is truly a nice thing to have to remember this opening night by as you walk home. The doors, they open at 5 o'clock. The concert starts at 8. Unfortunately, this one is sold out. It's been sold out for months now, but the Fillmore has a packed schedule, and we have a link for you at cbsphilly.com. We're live in Fishtown. Jan Carabao, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. That's not a bad giveaway. No kidding. That's and what a awesome. special night, too, to be able to be there. Yeah. Wow. And Jan, may I say, you look stunning. <laughs> With that as the backdrop and the leather, you're working it, girl. Mm -hmm. Make me look good. It. Thank you, Jan. <laughs>